Hi, thank you for watching. Welcome to Degakan University, East Africa, Nairobi campus. Professor Gerald Yonga will be highlighting the problems of non-communicable diseases in Kenya. Dr. Yonga is a professor of medicine and cardiology and also the head of department. Professor Yonga, what is the magnitude of non-communicable diseases in Kenya? Thank you, Ken. That's a great question. Kenya is a great sub-Saharan African country that unfortunately suffers from both infectious disease and non-communicable diseases. In 2008, NCDs accounted for 28% of all deaths in Kenya, and evidence now suggests that there is a rapidly increasing incidence and prevalence of stroke, uh, diabetes, hypertension, uh, renal failure, and even coronary artery disease. By 2020, in the rest of sub-Saharan Africa and Kenya included, this will be the most common cause of death. And these are greatly affecting our economies and undermining our development and a big strain on our healthcare system. Okay, so what are the challenges in providing care for non-communicable diseases in Kenya? Thank you, Ken. Although Kenya has a robust uh, care models for HIV AIDS, maternal child health care and family planning, it lacks comprehensive care models for NCDs. There are scarce resources with very many competing needs and priorities, both in healthcare and other development areas. Because of this, there is need for innovative, uh, integrated care models, quite a departure from the current vertical, segregated, siloed care models in Kenya. Professor, what are some of the innovative ways of confronting these challenges in Kenya and other low-income countries? Yes, Ken. The integrated model we propose will actually piggyback on existing robust infrastructure for HIV AIDS uh, and maternal child health care family programs in Kenya. It involves designing new integrated care pathways training and uh, task shifting for the primary care staff. This creative concept is actually in line with the Grand Challenge Canada's values of social justice, access to quality